It's the year of the dragon. And to celebrate, we're going to have a shave with Year of the Dragon Shave Soap from Hendrix Classics and Company. And that's coming up next. <music> Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's MarkerGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Really do appreciate it. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have a brand new shave soap in the shave den. The scent is absolutely awesome. It comes courtesy of Pete Hendricks and Hendricks Classics and Company. Pete Thank you very, very much. Before we get to that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, here it is right here from Hendrix Classics and Company, Year of the Dragon. My gosh, is this an absolutely awesome, awesome scent. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, this is absolutely fantastic. Pete sent me some information regarding the shave soap. Uh, and he wrote, um, Year of the Dragon will launch on February 17th. It's inspired by Stronger With You Leather by Emporio Armani. For me, this is a contender for fragrance of the year. It has one of the highest scores I've ever seen from members of the fragrance website Fragantica. F-R-A-G-R-A-N-T-I-C-A, Fragantica. Uh, top notes are chestnut, spices, and elemi. Middle notes are sage and lavender. Base notes are vanilla, leather, guacic wood, and argo wood, which is oud. Boy, this is an absolutely spectacular, spectacular scent. Thanks very much to Pete Hendricks again for sending this along. Let me just set this out of the way. Okay, and uh, yeah, and I love the artwork, metallic label, it's just absolutely wonderful. I don't think the camera does justice to this label, it's just absolutely spectacular. Uh, Pete very kindly also sent along the aftershave splash. We're going to be cracking this open for the first time, and we're going to be using this shave soap for the first time as well. Oh, <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic, fantastic scent. So we're going to have a shave with uh, Year of the Dragon from Hendrix Classics and Company. Uh, I'm going to be, uh, I'm trying to tie in to the dragon theme a little bit here. The razor I'm going to be using is the Pearl Open Comb uh, razor, short-handled razor that Bob Laroe very, very kindly sent to the channel. Thank you again, Bob. Really do appreciate it. And the reason why I'm using it is because it has these gold starbursts here, which kind of reminds me of dragon flames. <laughs> because if you can see the... Uh, dragon flame coming off of the dragon there out of his mouth. That kind of reminds me of it, which is why we're using this razor. And uh, also has a little higher efficiency because I have two days worth of beard growth. So we're going to use this razor. We're also going to use a Wisameth Super Iridium razor blade. Uh, looking forward to that. Uh, my shaving brush. Well, dragons. What do I have that's close to a dragon? I have a dinosaur etched shaving brush from AP Shave. Company. Uh, absolutely fantastic, fantastic shaving brush. Love that handle. So, okay, a dragon and a dinosaur. Sure, why not? My lathering bowl is going to be the fine lathering bowl right here. And of course, red symbolizing fire. Why not? And uh, that's probably going to lay the land. The Cube 2.0 for pre shave. Nice hot towel to get things going. And uh, again, aloe block to wrap it up plus the aftershave splash. So I think that's got a lay of the land here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some hot water on top of this brand new tub of uh, Year of the Dragon Shave Soap. And I'm also going to put some hot water into the lathering bowl. I'm going to do my pre-shave, my hot towel, and I will see you on the other side. So hang in there with me.
Oh my gosh, did this whip up quickly? The lather is just exploding. I mean, it is really something. I just dipped in once, dipped the brush in once for a little bit of water. And you know what? I mean, this thing, it just took off. Oh my gosh. We are, we are just about there. My gosh. And the scent is marvelous. Oh, this scent is wonderful. It really, it really is knocking it out of the park. Man, oh man. Look at, look at what we have there. Look at this. Look at this. Boom! Lather! Check that out! Wow! Wow, let's just paint this on like this. Oh, and the scent is just glorious. I'm telling you, this is a really fantastic, fantastic scent. This is wonderful for an evening night out. Absolutely perfect. My gosh, is this a good scent. Boy, oh boy, I mean, this is, this is great. Wow, 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 wow. And look at this lather. Look at what this, look at this, look at the yogurty, creamy quality of this lather. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that peak right there. I mean, it's, look at how that just peaks up a lot. Watch. Look at that. Oh, that is just amazing. What a wonderful soap base. Fantastic. My gosh. Oh man, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, we're going to set this aside like that and we're going to load my uh, my razor with my uh, Super Iridium razor blade. Let me get the uh, razor blade right here, okay? And uh, I'm going to set this aside, set that out of the way there so it doesn't get wet. I got one more blade left in that that pack and we're going to try to open this up hopefully without <laughs> too much difficulty trying to do it on camera here and boy oh boy sometimes these wrappers are just okay here we go they're just wrapped so they're wrapped too tightly they're too too much glue you know okay there we go okay here we go there it is there it is there it is okay got it okay there it is right there okay let me set this aside like that, put it back on top of the wrapper, and here is our razor right here with those great little starbursts there, or we could call them maybe uh, flames, <laughs> something like that. Okay, there's the cap and the um, base plate, and here is the Wizomet Super Iridium Razor Blade. We're going to set that in there like that, and then we're going to put that cap, that base plate on the cap. The end tabs are enclosed in the razor head, uh, very reminiscent of the um, Mula R41. Has that kind of, uh, the, the razor head has that kind of profile. Uh, similar, not exact, but kind of reminds me of it. So there it is. The balance and alignment is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful from this pearl razor. All right, and you can see as I was loading the blade how stable uh, the lather has remained on my face. Nice creamy, uh, yogurty. It's softening the whisker. It's moisturizing the skin. Yeah, that's that's why I like to load the blade uh, during the shave because uh, I give that lather a little time to uh, really have all that great uh, skin food kind of kick in. Okay, here we go. And again, softens the whiskers a little more. I know I had a great, great hot towel, but this also helps. And again, Gonna get gonna get some uh, efficiency with this razor, as I recall. My thanks to Bob Laro again for sending us along to the channel, heating it under some hot hot water. All right, here we go. Thirty degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Boy, there's some really nice residual slickness. I can tell you that right away. This razor it has a little bit of growl to it. No kidding.
I would say the razor has a little has a mild quality, but the uh, the efficiency and the aggression is really approaching its top level mild. It's not middle or lower level mild. It's more top top end mild, approaching a, a medium aggressive razor, but it's not quite there. The Wizomet blade is very smooth, but this lather is really offering a lot of protection. Really nice glide, nice cushion, uh, really terrific. Again, some nice residual slickness to remove that longer beard growth around the chin and also here on the, uh, the lower lip. And I'm going to get that again on pass number two. Yeah, this razor has a little bit of growl to it, uh, but the um, the lather is really doing a nice job in offering some uh, good protection. So that's that's <laughs> that is really really great. Uh, okay, first pass done. Let's rinse. The introduction of the water I think is going to help the lather for uh, the lathering phase of uh, the second pass. All right, first pass done. Let's rinse. You know, wow, wow, that was a great, that was a great first pass. I am right on the cusp of socially acceptable. I dare say I could probably run out the door, really. I mean, that's how, that's how great the first pass was with this razor. And again, this razor has uh, probably a little more growl than uh, you would expect. Uh, but the, uh, the lather is doing a real nice job in offering protection. And that little bit of water on my face has really helped uh, this lather. It's given it a little. I mean, it hasn't effect, It hasn't made it more. It hasn't made it runnery, run, runny or watery, and it's not drawing out. It just seems to adapt to that a little bit of water on my face in a really nice way, and it's still giving me a good, thick, cushiony, creamy, yogurty. Uh, lather with a lot of nice density and body. And again, this scent is just awesome. I mean, this scent is, this is a really glitter scent. I can understand why everyone on Fragantica, uh, is reporting great things from this scent. I mean, giving them top, top scores because, uh, it really is fantastic. It really is fantastic. I mean, you're definitely, if you get this shaving soap, you definitely want to get the aftershave splash. No doubt about it. Uh, okay, we're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grade. No tugging or pulling at all on the neck. I almost potentially nicked myself there coming around the chin. A little bit of a heavy hand. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but the lather has enough slickness to where it just let the let that blade just slide right by. 
could have potentially been operator error, but I think the lather, slickness, and glide really corrected me. It was fantastic. Again, boy, it just did a nice job of getting rid of what could potentially be what I guess it's called a sole patch there. Just remove that hair there very, very nicely. Uh, it got probably, this razor probably got 80% of the hairs on the upper lip. I forgot to mention that to you. So uh, I, this pass is probably going to get those uh, little bits that are left over. And uh, really some great, great protection. And I'm making sure to get the upper lip there, right around here. Make sure that there are no uh, extraneous long hairs left. Uh, because, you know, sometimes two days worth of beard growth, if you rush through your shave, you might miss one of those one of those hairs there. And I'm just making sure that that's all shaved away cleanly. And it is. Again, the the, the razor is giving, the, the lather is giving me some great, great protection uh, when using this razor. And I got, you know, I got enough residual up uh, up underneath the nostrils where I could do this. Enough residual thickness, boy, I got. That took care of that too. Really, really terrific. All right, second pass done. Let's rinse. Boy, that's great. Two passes. BBS, I'm done. No kidding. That razor has a little bit of growl. I'm going to drain the sink, and I'm going to do my two final rinses. One warm, one cold, and I'm going to kick off my warm water rinse with an hot towel again. Thanks again to Jamie Horn. Really, really terrific. Got a little bit of a dye right here. A little bit. It's very, very minor. But, again, could be a, a, like a could be like a little blemish or something like that. I did not feel it at all. I, I would chalk this up to maybe a, possibly a phantom nick, that sort of thing. But that little razor's got a little bit of aggression there. All right, uh, I'm going to do my uh, hot towel rinse, warm water rinse, cold water rinse, and I'll see you on the other side for the hour block. What a beautiful, beautiful shave. My gosh, absolutely wonderful. BBS, clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. My God, absolutely fantastic. I think this guy here is sealing up with just a little bit of uh, cold water. We'll run the yellow block over it and see what happens. And uh, I don't think it's one that I'm going to need a styptic pencil for. It's very, very minor. But again, man. I think with any other shave soap, big box store shave soap, could have been far worse. Of course, this one slip up I had, look, nothing at all. I mean, and the, boy, that's BBS right around the chin too. My gosh. All right, uh, let's get our Allen block here. We have the Phoenix Shaving Solid Allen block right here. I don't have the no slip grip on it. I want to air out a little bit. So you can see it right there. This is a phantom neck. It's already coagulating. You know, you can barely see it. And it's probably, it's one of those that comes up once in a blue moon and it ends up sloughing off after maybe say, maybe five, ten minutes after my shave. Every once in a while I get those. I don't know why they happen. I call them phantom nicks. I don't feel them. I just notice them after the shave and then that little scab sloughs off and then they're gone. All right, here we go. That's nice and smooth. I do have a couple of zings right there along the jawline. And so that, this razor, I gotta be honest with you. 
I'm saying that it's upper mild. I think it's probably medium aggression. I think so. I think it has a little more growl than, <laughs> than I let on. I haven't shaved with it in a while, but I'm telling you, with two days worth of beard growth, it made it made quick work of the of the of the beard growth, and it really did a great job. The Wizardnet blade was nice and smooth, but the lather offered a lot of protection, especially with that razor. I think the razor is a little more aggressive than I uh, than I give it credit for, and I believe Bob Laroe passed it on he passed it on to me and i read his review and i believe if i recall correctly i believe he said the razor was more aggressive than he had anticipated and it really is it's an open comb razor so yeah uh okay so a handful of zings no stinging a little bit of a zing right here from that little phantom nick it's closing up you know you can you can't even see it we're gonna take this uh dry dock and we're gonna put the aloe block in there like that and I've got the no-slip grip right here. We'll just set that there. And uh, let me show you the, okay, let me show you the lather because this is the star of the show. Here's the lather right here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I have more than enough for another uh, pass, maybe even another two passes uh, on the brush. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> man. This soap base is marvelous. It is a marvelous soap base, and you've got to try this scent. The scent is marvelous. It is absolutely wonderful, and uh, it really just makes heaps and heaps of lather. Uh, rich, creamy, yogurty, beautiful body and density. Really, really nice. I mean, it's a really terrific, terrific uh, lather from the Year of the Dragon Shave Soap, Hendrix Classics and Company. Really, really terrific. Here's the aftershave splash right here. Uh, we have not opened this up. We're going to crack this up. There it is. Broke the seal for the first time like that. All right. Oh, that's terrific. That is, that is marvelous. I'm telling you, this is another winning scent. This is really, really terrific. And I'm just going to shake this out here. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be, I'm going to be generous with it because it's so good. Okay, now we're just going to let that air out a little bit jimmy v method and you can see this guy's closed up there's nothing there all right boy that's that's marvelous that's a great great scent i'm not going to use any balm for upstairs i don't want anything to get in the way of this scent this scent is marvelous uh, i could probably Use a neutral balm. I'll do that later on. But man, is this. The aftershave gives you a really, really nice, fresh post-shave feel. The scent is marvelous. The performance is wonderful. A lot of nice protection. This razor, this razor right here, this pearl open comb razor, this is a little more aggressive uh, than I... <laughs> It's a little more aggressive than I recall, uh, than I remembered. It really has a, a little bit of growl to it. So I'm so very glad I used uh, You're the Dragon by Hendrix Classics and Company because it offered a lot of great protection. And again, I definitely slipped up over here and uh, it just it just corrected that error right there. And this little guy here, it's already sealed up. So I can honestly say no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. What a wonderful two-pass BBS shave with a razor that's got a little bit of a growl, but with a great lather that offered a lot of wonderful protection, beautiful glide and slickness. And it, is, it just has an outstanding, outstanding scent. You have got to try this one. Year of the Dragon launches February 17th. It is really, really terrific. And these metallic labels are absolutely gorgeous. You have got to see this uh, up close and personal firsthand. I don't think the camera is doing justice to it because of the way the uh, light plays off of this metallic label. It just is... It looks just so awesome. And as you can, and I can move it around and the light plays off it and just brings out certain highlights of the artwork. Just, just like that. Maybe you can see that a little bit there. I mean, it just, 
Uh, when you see it first here, it's pretty amazing. Really, really awesome. And the artwork is fantastic. And uh, yeah, just all around a great, great shade. So my thanks to Pete Hendricks and everyone at Hendricks Classics and Company for sending along Year of the Dragon, a wonderful scent and wonderful lathering performance. Uh, get it in your shave, Dan. It's absolutely a winner. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell about next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page, Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized, so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Let me get my, uh, yeah, let's get the aftershave right here. Let's show them both of them to you because they're just both awesome. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.